Hey folks, I'm trying to play a little line on tenor that I'm noticing causes some problems with my hands. So I'm going to show you the way I'm going to work through it. I'm going to show you what the problem is. And uh, hopefully during this process, you'll gain an insight into A, how to play this line. And then also how to spot if you're causing, um, how to spot if you're uh, not playing things as cleanly as you could, and then how to go about fixing them. All right, let me play the line first. All right, here's the line. Let me do that one more time, nice and slow for you. See, even then I didn't do it very clean. Let me do it one more time, nice and clean. All right, so it's still not perfect. Now, for me, the issue that happens is on the uh, the left hand part of the um, of the line. After I get down to the um, after I get down to the root, this is let's see on tenor. This would be um, an A7 to D minor to A7 to D minor chord. So when I hit the D minor part of the chord, that's the um, when I get to that part of the chord. When I get the, get to that part of the line, this part, that part of the line. So for me, the issue is that um, I can play that with side B flat. I can play that with side B flat, or I can do it with bis B flat, or I can do it with one and one. I personally never use one and one, so I'm going to not talk about that. But for me, if I try to do it with side B flat versus if I do it with bis, I just never really... This is one of those spots where, like, I never really shedded this kind of movement with my hands. Um, I'm trying to play this type of line. That little part right there. So there's two parts of it that are messing me up. So the first one, if I go B flat, A, G, C, B flat, side B flat, then to the F, if I do that, if I go B flat with side A, G, and then C, and then go to B flat, then the next part I'm going the side B flat to one, that's a little awkward, right? So that's the spot where I should say, you know what? Maybe I'll do side B flat for the first part, and then for the second part, I'll do bis, as in. I'll do that one more time. It's kind of hard. I'm, you know, shooting with my phone. It's a little awkward to see. So I'll, I'll try to do it just so you can look at my left hand. Now, for me, like, I have to consciously think about doing that. And that is going to slow me down. So I just need to drill that over and over and over again until I don't have to think about it. That's consciously making the decision that the first time I play B flat, I'm going to do it with side B flat. Coming from the, uh, the middle D. It's the middle D to side B flat. And then the next time I'm going to do it with uh, bis B flat. As in, right? I may, I might make that conscious decision that that's how I'm going to play this line. I'm going to play it with side B flat for the first time I play the B flat note, right? And then the second time I'll play it with bis B flat. Or I may decide I'm only going to do bis B flat for whatever reason. <laughs> Right, and then for that, I have to watch out for flip-flop. Flip-flop being, you know, if I do C to B-flat like that, C to the B-flat, I might accidentally play an A because I don't um, flip, I don't um, switch fingers quickly. That's what we don't want. That's very sloppy. That's bad sounding. Um, yeah, that's one, things you want, one of the things you want to try to eliminate from your playing. All right, so let me play the line one more time. Right? I did it the whole time that whole time with side B flat. Now let me try it again this time with this and let's see if it's cleaner or smoother or maybe my fingers are going to get confused and try to play this at the same time I'm trying to play side B flat. That sort of thing. It could just be a whole disaster. Let's see what happens. All right? So and then as you heard at the end, I was a little sloppy on the right hand part when I got to the lower octave. So these are some things that like I'm trying to work on 
Um, the hardest part is just being able to figure out, um, you know, where am I getting hung up on this line? Where are the exact spots? Which, like, where are the notes? Which, which of the exact fingering combinations are the ones that are tripping me up, that are making me get all kinds of stuck, and making me not sound as clean as possible, and not sound as smooth as possible, and not sound as, um, as good as possible, okay? So, this line gets kind of cool when you start playing it in a few different lines. You can think of it as like five chord to one chord to five chord to one chord. I'll play it again in the key of D for tenor. Uh, that's concert C. All right, so. All right, if I do it up a uh, half step, it gets kind of difficult on tenor. And there is an instance where I'm not sure if I should do bis for all the B flats or if I should do side B flat. For all of the B flats in this line. I don't know if you heard that, but I played a couple extra notes in there when I was transitioning from the D to the F in that line. When I go, um, for me, the tendency is to play um, D, uh, E flat, B natural, and accidentally like hit the side B flat on the way down. And that's just like, it's just a bad habit that I have for some reason. So that's a spot where I need to consciously make sure that I'm not trying to do that. All right, let's play this line in a couple other keys. Let's do it in the key of, uh, let's see, let's start on our C sharp. So. <laughs> Oh, that gets kind of tricky when we do it in that key. Uh, that's the key of C sharp for tenor, concert B. All right. That's a nice one in the key of concert D minor. Start on our B, and then we can do it with side C instead of doing C to, um, instead of doing B to C. We get flip flop if we do it that way. All right, that's a little bit cleaner if we do it with the side C instead of trying to do flip flop. All right, all right, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that helps you um, isolate your fingers and whatnot and get a little bit uh, more efficient in your playing and um, whenever you're shedding your lines and whatnot, figure out which lines are more, um, uh, where are the tricky spots in those lines where you really need to focus on dialing in the muscle memory for it and whatnot. All right, I'll talk to you later. Deuces.